Hi, Mark. I'm going to be charging a walk-in cooler with our 404A with a headmaster control. Outdoor tempo probably 20 to 30 degrees. Any advice? Welcome. We keep going until you have all of the information you need. V slash. Extensive training and coaching also available. Make sure that the compressor and condensing unit are rated for use with our 404A and that the condensing unit is fit with a suitably oversized receiver. Fit a liquid line side glass in the liquid line running to the evaporator coil inside, and charge the unit so that there are a few bubbles in it with the outside air temperature above 70F. If it is cooler than 70F outside you will have to block the condenser until the headmaster control ceases blocking the flow from the condenser. You can tell when that happens by the bottom two passes of the condensing temperature drop to more than 10 degrees Fahrenheit subcooling and more than two bottom rows of the condenser coil begin to run cool. You can also hear the heat master making progressively more sound as it restricts flow to the receiver. You can use a mechanic stethoscope, $30 at an auto parts store to listen to the valve. Here is an article that might help http colon slash www.akernews.com slash articles slash 105038 troubleshooting low ambient controls. Then when the box gets down to the set temperature keep charging until all the bubbles are out of the sight glass. Verify that when the headmaster is operating in low ambient mode and has the flow from the condenser restricted, and when operating in weather above 70F outside. Add refrigerant in either case until the side glass clears up. If you have done that correctly the receiver will be approximately 80% full when the system is operating in weather over 70F outside. Dash how to tell when the receiver is 80% full when operating in cold weather? Tap on the side of the tank with a wrench until you get good at noticing the sound difference between the top of the receiver and the bottom where the liquid is. You can detect the liquid level widening half an inch that way. Dash quote from article on how to size the receiver. A refrigeration system can have a head pressure control mixing valve used with an oversized receiver, figure 2. Most manufacturers publish charts and tables on system charge recommendations. This shows the service tech how much refrigerant to add to a system that has a head pressure control valve designed to flood the condenser in colder weather. Most of these can be accessed on the internet. End quote tell me the brand and model number of your condensing unit, and the diameter and height of the receiver. Let me know if that makes any sense on your end or not so far. Ask any further questions you have. We can go from there. Hi Phil. The system is sized properly so we don't have worry about that. Okay, that sounds like a reasonable way to charge these systems. Outdoor temp will be anywhere from 10 to 30 degrees outside. Is there a reason to believe that I will probably should go back when temp is above 70 degrees outside to check charge? Hello, I need the model number of the condensing unit in order to see if it has an oversized receiver or not. Or you can just tell me if it has an oversize, not standard size receiver. If you install the system with the standard size receiver head pressure in the cold ambient mode can go too high and damage the compressor or cause it to trip one of its overloads. Yes you should go back and check the charge when it is warmer outside, if the sight glass is full at that time and if it worked well in cold weather, then the charge is good. If you choose to rate my advice so far positively we can go from here, even months from now on the same dime. Meantime you might want to check with manufacturer on the receiver capacity and if it's sized to accommodate the headmaster control you have on it. The model has the cooler condenser is Moho 30 by 63 CFM. And the model has the walk-in freezer condenser is Moho 14 L63 CF2 systems. The model has the cooler condenser is Moho 30 by 63 CFM. 
and the model has the walk-in freezer condenser as Moho 14 L63 CF2 systems. The cooler has two EVAPs, and the freezer one EVAP. Hello again, neither the Moho brand nor the model number is on Google. There is a company called Famous Daves in Kennewick, I suppose Kennewick, Washington, that lists that brand and model number in his Google header, but that website does not work right now at least. Somehow I need to see pictures of the condensing unit, to at least get a rough idea of the receiver tank size in the unit. Diameter and height. The picture must show the tank. Take the picture from 4 or 5 feet away so I can see the entire unit. If you have the phone number of the seller, I can call them and discuss the issue if you wish. You can use the attach files link in the lower left corner of this dialog box for picture files. Heatcraft is Manufact Larkin. So far I have not seen a Moho model on their website. I found this however. HTTP colon slash screencast.com slash T slash RRSG3 UF1 VKM that head pressure control strategy has been a hallmark of Larkin for a long time, 50 years at least. There are some important other issues we can discuss especially if the condensing units will be on the roof and the evaporator fan coils inside the boxes below, oil return issues and suction line traps and riser sizes. If you need any help with that let me know. Okay thanks Phil for your help with the charging method for these cold temps outside on that walk-in cooler and freezer. If I have any more questions I will def get back to you. Thanks for the excellent rating, and do stay in touch if you have any problems. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.